Hey guys, I'm the Command Geek, and today I'll be showing you how to select entities in Minecraft. Because there are so many selectors, I'll be splitting this into two videos, basic and advanced. Right now I'll be showing you the seven basic selectors. So to demonstrate, I'll be using the slash clear command, and afterwards you can see we have to select an entity. Right off the bat, you can see there are a couple options here. At A is all players, at B is all entities, at P is nearest player, at R is random player, and at S is the current entity which is executing the command. So in this case, it would be the command block because that is where the command is being executed. Depending on your case, you could use any one of these. For now, I'll just select at A because I'm going to be selecting any players, not just one specific thing. After you choose which type of selector you want, you have to put in all the other stuff in square brackets. Now inside here, you can already see there's a lot of stuff, and I'll be showing you the basic ones right now. The first one I'll be talking about is name. Now, after name, you write equals, and then in quotation marks, you write the name. So for instance, Command Geek. Now it will select only players called Command Geek, which is is only me right now. Unfortunately, you can only select one specific name, so if you need to select multiple specific names, you have to run separate command blocks. The next selector I'll be talking about is limit. Now, limit is how many players you're gonna select. So if you don't want to select all the players in the entire world, you want to just select, for instance, two, you'd write limit equals two, and now you've only selected two. Now this will select the two closest players, but if you want to select in a different order, for instance, farthest or random, then I will be showing how to do that in my advanced video. Next we have level. Now level is the number of XP that a person is at, and you can select a minimum and a maximum. To do that, you write your first number, for instance, I'm gonna have a minimum of five levels, and then you put two dots and your maximum level, for instance, 10. So now it will select anyone between level five and level 10. But maybe you don't want a maximum or minimum, you just want one. So if we don't want a maximum, you just leave that last part blank, but you keep the two dots. If you don't want a minimum, you get rid of the first number, but you still keep the first dots. So if the first one is minimum, the last one is maximum. The next selector is game mode. Now after this, you can write down any of the four game modes. You can write survival or creative, adventure, or spectator. And it will select only people in that game mode. The next selector would be this type selector. And to do this, we need to use at E because we're selecting any entity. That's why I have slash kill because slash clear only applies to players. So after typing at E, which is all entities, you'd write type. And now here's where you put the type of entity. So you could put player, but that wouldn't make much sense because you could just do at A, which implies that it's a player. But what you could do is you could put, for instance, a zombie. And now it will only select zombies, not just any entity in the whole world. So there's a whole list of entities which you can write, and it will select only that one. The last selector I'll be covering in this video is distance. Now, like with experience, or the levels, you have to write a minimum and a maximum. This is a radius, which means it will search this in all the directions. So for instance, I can search anywhere from one, then two dots, to 10. So this will search anywhere from a minimum of one blocks away to a maximum of 10 blocks away in every single direction, up, down, left, right, forward, backwards. Now, like with the levels, if you only want a maximum or a minimum, you delete that number, but you keep the two dots. Also, it'll center the radius at whoever is executing the command. So in this case, it would be the command block, or if you type it in the chat, it would be from you. You can customize the center point, but again, I'll be talking about that in my advanced video. So those were the first six selectors that I'll be talking about in this video. Now I'll show you a few tricks to help you select entities. So here I have a selector it's selecting everyone named Bob, but what if I want to select everyone named Bob and who is a minimum of three blocks away from me? Well, I know that there's a distance selector and to string them together, I just write a comma and then I can do anything I want. I can write distance three or any other number I want. And I can keep stringing on like this, adding anything I want. I can do level and so on, stringing them with commas. Here I have name equals Bob. So that will select everyone whose name is Bob. But what if I want to select everyone whose name is not Bob? Well, to do that, you just put an exclamation mark in front of Bob, and now it will select only everyone who is not Bob. This works for game mode too, so I have an exclamation mark before creative, so it will select everyone who is not in creative mode. And finally, it also works with type, so it will select all entities who are not players. So those are the basic selectors that I'll be talking about in this video. If you like this content,
content and want to see more tutorials like this, be sure to subscribe, like this video, and share this video with your friends.